All right. So it's been a while since I've posted a video. Why? Because I spent time pondering and thinking about what to do next to help you guys. So I've got this notice from Trailhead. Let's read together. Hello, Jimmy Tanzil. We're writing on behalf of the Salesforce Credential Security Team to notify you that your post, which I have deleted all my super badge videos, has been flagged for containing one or more super badge solutions. Specifically, data integration specialist videos, lightning experience specialist videos, process automation, security specialist, business administration specialist videos. As a reminder, actions that compromise the integrity or confidentiality of any content related to Salesforce certification exams or super badges are prohibited under the Salesforce Credential and Certification Program Agreement. Trust is the number one value at Salesforce and our job is to ensure that everyone plays by the rules when it comes to the Salesforce Credential and Certification Program. Trailblazers spend a lot of time and energy reaching their credential goals and maintaining the integrity of the program honors those efforts. So what am I required to do? This is me, what am I required to do? Immediately remove the solution from your post and anywhere else you posted it. If you fail to remove the solution or post any other confidential content in the future, you will be removed, me, will be removed from the Trailhead community and the credential and certification program, meaning all my certifications will also be stripped off. If you believe your post was flagged by mistake, let us know. So, all my super badge videos has been taken down right away when I have received this notice. My intention was to teach all of you on how to do these challenges and explain them one line at a time, right? So all on my videos, I didn't just do the challenge so you can just follow me. I wanted you to understand exactly what was done and why. But still, I am doing more hurt than helping because, well, it makes sense. Probably many of you just follow along and just complete the challenge without really understanding what needs to be done or if you are presented with a totally different challenge, you wouldn't be able to probably just solve it on your own, which means I am hurting more people than helping out, right? So I don't want that. So I've taken down all the super badges the day I've received this or the next day, I believe. So I've been pondering what to do next. I've been creating 500 trailhead videos, right? And it's all guiding you guys all throughout the trail heads and challenges. My intention was to get you to understand and without you having to spend a lot of time reading all this text on trailhead. So to transfer knowledge, but also when you're just following my videos, it might be not helping so much because you know it's not even a real case scenario real world scenario on these trailhead um, challenges most of it are all of it are fictions are made up and i don't know i'm pretty sure most of you will forget what what you've been doing on these trailhead challenges if you're not practicing salesforce on a daily basis right so, well, the ideal way 
to help you is for you to actually hold a job first. So you have to be already on the job as an as an admin or as a Salesforce developer. So my mindset the easier way to get through that is to volunteer on nonprofits um, that are utilizing Salesforce. Do you know that 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 there are over forty thousand nonprofits in the world that are using Salesforce. So yeah the good thing is you can you know not the good thing i mean the right path is for you to start by volunteering because by just doing trail hats you might know it you know for a month or two but eventually you will forget it if you don't practice it on the job on a daily basis so i'm deciding i want to do videos that you can do on your own without having to be dependent on having a job what about you know starting a business together you and me let's start a business together i am going to create a startup which you can model on your own you know and apply it to your own area selling the same things i'm selling you can use your own brand buy your own domain name your own brand but basically the model is the same maybe you're a better salesperson than i am i'm not a, a really good salesperson but i like to build stuff so i can build prototypes and mockups i'm i'm gonna build something that i'm gonna use for real I'm probably going to hand it over to my son who is already a Salesforce certified developer and just got accepted to Sauder Business School at UBC. I'm proud of it. And I'm going to hand it over to him. I mean, this business that we are going to create together. You can follow me along. And I'm going to hand it over to him to grow it. Maybe it's going to be a multi billion dollar business. <laughs> who knows? right so let's do just that so i'm going to start creating videos um while i am creating a real business on the salesforce platform all right so you will know to start your own business using the salesforce platform and when you start to earn your own income you can you know buy the license from salesforce and just grow it from there so we're going to start by creating a new developer org okay and then build on that as you follow me along through my videos you will see how things unfold i will not give you the big picture of what the business is let's build it together all right so it's going to be some kind of a tool and it has a product you can sell a tangible product but it's also digital so <laughs> it's interesting and it's cheap to start it doesn't require you a lot of money to start but i think it might work if we do this together you know you do your region i do my region you know around bc canada maybe start with langley vancouver and you do yours and i'm do, i'm doing my region wherever you are in the world it will work wherever you are so let's build this on the salesforce platform why because we are going to harness the power of the salesforce platform to grow the business exponentially we are going to harness the automation power the reporting power and all, all of the marketing power well we're gonna just do and have fun together okay i'm not gonna pursue and make tons of money i'm just gonna have fun building a business and together with you if you want to follow or not it's up to you either way i'm going to just have fun and start doing it rather than doing trailhead videos because 
Trial health videos is good, but it's not personal. It's not personal enough. You won't remember it for long. It's going. It's not going to stick on you. If you're building something that's personal and you're using it every day, making reports, maybe hiring, you know, your friends hiring employees once your business grow. Yeah, why not hiring your own Salesforce admin? So. Let's use Salesforce not to get a job, but to start our business together. Okay? I've got tons of ideas in my mind. We're just going to do one. And then once it's finished, do the next one. Once it's finished, do the next one. Once it's finished, do the next one. And let's create something that you can also apply locally on your area. Okay? Have that mindset and let's follow along. Bada bing, bada boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.